Hi everyone and welcome to Tuesday's Tips with Laurie. I'm so excited today because we have a couple of really cool things. First of all, stay tuned. We've got a fun announcement coming up that I want to share with you. It's kind of a fun little surprise. I'll do that at the end. The second thing, or the main thing that we we're going to talk about today, all the possibilities of glitter. They, this glitter stuff is so much fun. I love it. I know we've showed it once before, but I wanted to show you some really important tips that will help your glitter project turn out the way you're wanting it to turn out. So I wanted to show you today how to do this on these so cute. Christmas is coming up, right? And we want to get prepared. It takes a minute to get Christmas all ready. So I wanted to show you, this is the designs I'm working on today. They are from that So Chanel Christmas Hot Pets. And there's a sewing version as well as an embroidery version. So we've got you covered. No matter what your taste is, we've got you covered. And you can use the glitter in both cases, both situations. I'm gonna show you the embroidery version today and we can go over how you would do the sewing on a different Tuesday tip just so that you get your own special treatment because these are both so much fun. So I'm just dying to show you these. Aren't those so fun? So I made these with glitter, just whipped them out today, you know. <laughs> and this one has the red glitter top. And look how much fun we added. Not only silver glitter, but we used the white and the carrot nose is made of glitter. Look how fun, there's so many different colors. So you'll have to get on the Kimberbell website and find out how many glitter colors are out there because they're a lot of fun. All right, so to start with, the first thing that um, I do is I've gotten to this point in my uh, pattern and the design and I have done the outline for the place where I want to place the glitter and you're going to treat the glitter as if it were a piece of fabric. So if you can see right in there, this red outline is the Santa hat outline and I'm going to prep my applique glitter piece first. First thing I do is I peel off this plastic. You can see that there's a plastic. You want to peel this piece of clear plastic protectant off. It is sticky. Then this is like really pliable. See how nice that is? It, it'll move with your fabric. So that's the coolest part right there. You're going to peel that off and then I'm going to place it on I'm going to place it right there on my design and I'm going to slide it over here in the machine and I'll invite you to come and get a little uh, peek at how this is going to happen. Now I'm using red colored thread and the reason I'm using red thread is because this, this color is going to show through. This particular thread outline will show through. So how do you know if it's going to show through or not? That's a great question. You can wait for the machine to stop stitching. <laughs> and I'm watching it stitch. Just don't put your finger too close to the needle. <laughs> That's no fun. and color threads. Oh, somebody gets your scissors. So what I wanted to show you, and I want to pull this out the right way. So this red color, before, this was a great question. I don't know if somebody asked the question, but it can depend on what color thread you're going to use as your tack down line is uh, whether you want it to be contrasting or whether you want it to be the exact same color. The reason I chose the exact same color, which, look how hard that is, kind of tricky to see. So when I'm trimming, you can see it, but it's a little bit harder to see. The reason I chose the same color in this particular case, can you see the decorative stitch? It's not a satin stitch, so that stitch is going to show through, or that thread will show through when you're stitching your decorative stitch if you don't use the same color. Now, for example, on the carrot, if you want to... See the carrot right here? The carrot, can you see that's a satin stitch? So I could use any color I want for the tack down 
and then it's really easy to see where you're trimming. It's a lot easier to see. So it's your choice, but that's what I recommend is different color if you're doing satin stitch, it's easier to see. And use the same color if it's something with a decorative stitch that you're gonna see through. So, thank you. All right, so I'm gonna trim. I'm just gonna trim the glitter. It's close to the stitch line, and like I see, I can still see it. It's just a little bit easier on the eyes to see if it's a different color, if you can do that. The most important thing is do, do trim it pretty close to those stitches. Don't clip your stitches, but trim it, or trim it pretty close to the stitches because you don't want a piece of glitter sticking out past. So that you can see just about there. It doesn't take too long. So you can see how a little bit of red, you know, you could see that. If it were a white stitch line, you would be able to see that through this decorative stitch. All right, after you've trimmed it, the very most important next step that there is with glitter is you press it. Press it with a pressing cloth. If you use a pressing cloth, great. If you don't have a pressing cloth, just use a piece of fabric. In fact, I like the fabric better, and I'll tell you why in just a minute. When you use your iron, and this is hot, I know sometimes I've had an iron not, not plugged in, but this one is plugged in, you can see I'm pressing straight down directly over for 15 to 20 seconds. It's got to really get hot. There is a glue on the back side of this that needs to get warmed up and it needs to adhere to your project. If it doesn't adhere to your project, after you start doing your satin stitching, it'll bubble and you won't be very happy. So this is key to making sure that it's down and it doesn't bubble. So I got the little iron, so I've got one side done. So now I'm gonna do the other side. Now, if you have a problem with it, let's say you actually iron it down and you've started and you don't realize you have it ironed down well enough and you've already started stitching, take it out right then and you can iron it down again. Now, if you happen to have an iron that has a lot of holes in it, it might you might see some little tiny bubbles. So what I've done, I. I use my finger and feel and smooth and make sure it's completely smoothed out. If it's hot, use uh, fabric, and that's why I like the fabric. The pressing cloths are not quite as um, thin, so it's a little bit easier to fill those bubbles if you have any bubbles with a piece of fabric. So, and I think that feels like it's nice and down. It's just so important, most important step. You don't want your project to be ruined right you want it to look cute and stay in place so Lori, we have a yes. question so just go over again why you're pressing the glitter material oh yes so on the back of the glitter material there is adhesive and the adhesive helps this to stay in place now i'll show you a piece of fabric you don't have an adhesive right but it it might come up a little bit, give it a little bit of um, 3D look, if you will. But with the glitter, it's, it is nice and pliable, but it's a little bit stiffer than your fabric is. And you want it to lay down and look nice. Just looks better when it's adhered. Otherwise, it tends to kind of bubble out. If you like the bubbling look, that's great. You don't have to iron it. But Especially, these are smaller pieces, so you can get away with that, but larger pieces, you want to make sure that that's ironed down well. All right, so I don't know if you can see, it's all ironed down nice for you. And it's nice and flat, and it's good to go. It's ready to go. So you would just put it back in your machine and complete your stitch, your other stitches around it. And can you wash this glitter material? You can, very good question. I like your questions. Yes, you can. Uh, my daughter loves to ice skate, and I put a silver ice skate on her uh, t-shirt that she wears all the time. She loves it. It's been washed, I wanna say at least 15 times now, and it's worn great. It looks great. In fact, the coolest part about this glitter, well, I need a white piece, but even if you smear the glitter around, it's still stuck on, 
And as you can see, there's not a single piece of glitter on this white fabric or this white stabilizer. You can see that. That glitter stays on that glitter applique sheet. That's one of the reasons I like the Kimberbell applique glitter. It's really good glitter. Um, then last but not least, are you guys ready for the surprise? Yeah, let me just say one more thing about oh, yes. washing the glitter. Um, we recommend on a cool, with cool water and on a gentle cycle. It can also be dried if you tumble dry it on low. You can so, tumble dry on low. I sometimes lay flat. T-shirts seem to shrink anyway, so I lay my daughter's t-shirt flat just to dry. But I like, we do that with a lot of our clothes some, you know, nowadays, right? Do we have any other questions before I move on? Yeah, Lynn is asking, where do we get the glitter fabric? That's a great question. Check, with, check on the Kimberbell website for a Kimberbell store located near you and ask them if they carry it and if they could carry it because it is a product that they would be able to carry in their stores for you. That's a great question. I think that's there it for now. I think we're ready Alrighty. for the surprise. <laughs> I don't know how many of you were able to get Broomhilda. And didn't you love the cutting list? There's Woo cutting diagrams, right? Showed you exactly. Took all the guesswork out of how you cut. You cut right according to the pictures. Well, here's Drum our roll. surprise. There are now cut list diagrams for Hello Sunshine. So awesome. this is great. This is, I know that some of you have been waiting for this. It's out, it's here, it's, it's on our website. So let me tell you how you get there. You'll go to uh, our website at KimberbellDesigns.com. Then you're gonna find a tab that says Collections. Click on that tab, and then under that tab, it will say Product Updates. Click on that tab and look for Hello Sunshine. We do also have our die cutting diagrams for Jingle All The Way on there as well. So. If you've been making Hello Sunshine and you were thinking, I wish that I had a cut list, why? Or a diagram cutting, look at that. And there's one for the sewing version and there's one for the embroidery version. So we've got one for each. So, yay, I'm excited for that. Are you guys excited for that? Yeah, I think so they are. so much yeah. fun. <laughs> These are really fun. It even has the little tab that shows you what color fabric is you're cutting and how you lay it out and we've, Cut them so that they're easy to, you just cut right down in the strips and then you cross cut. They're designed to make it very uh, easily cut, just like that. All right, well that Ooh. takes, that wraps that up. <laughs> so excited. All right, well, we'll tune in next week for Tuesday's Tips with Laurie. Bye.